world learning series point of view today's topic is a secret engine and i am in a hashikarp official website for world associate curriculum so under the authentication methods we have seen the uh, authentication methods so before going further ahead so we need to understand about the secret engine so in the previously we have seen authentication methods or generic cloud based and infrastructure based those are here and before going to this app role so we need to understand about the secret engine so first of all vault architecture as we have seen vault has a core engine and storage internal and external storage and whereas it has a secret engine where you can store variety of a secrets and vault has a and gate pass kind of authentication and policy which is authorization mechanism whereas you can authenticate with any of the this and audit point of view you can plug any of the audit available audit so this is a typical single vault system so now going back to the secret engine so as we know authentication methods right and uh, authentication methods and policies will help you to basically accessing granted but access granted to what which is a secret of course the vault is nothing but it's a secret engine so centralized secret engine so these are the variety kinds of secrets you can store right right now vault secret engines as in this previous it has given only for very few secret engine whereas if you go to the actual list go to the vault documentation and secret engines if you expand here these all the all are secrets means you can store aws passwords alibaba cloud azure console there are database key value identity there are a lot many of the secrets uh, you can store in the vault but out of that very popular is the key value which is a basic thing right and in fact you can store database means cassandra couchbase elastic search influx mongo any kind of database credential you can store google cloud open id pks pki ssh any kind of uh, the secrets you can store in the vault now secret engine so as we are talking about the secret engine what exactly the secret engine secret engine is nothing but it will store the secrets and as well it will generate the secrets and it will encrypt as well and the most important is secret engine secrets will be stored in the form of a path that will show in the demo other one is every secret has a configuration yes so not only you are creating a secret but also it has a configuration and secrets you can store in the form of a versions version 1 version 2 version 3 but for that you need to use a v2 api what is v2 api if you go to the say key value pair right say so key value pair and version 2 so if you use a version 2 then you will can leverage the multiple version means like my password is admin then after that you can change admin 1 2 3 admin 1 2 4 like that and every secret has a lease dtl so means time to leave which is a lease time to leave where you can configure how much time that particular lease secret will expire that kind of things you can set and every secret has a metadata yes of course uh, metadata will help you to understand the, about the secrets and all its available versions etc and secrets you can put list get patch delete and delete and destroy as a basic crud operations now secret life cycle so by using a vault first in order to use you have to enable it means when you enable it then only it will work means say if i wanted to create a one key value pair you have to enable first if you wanted to store the database credential yes you have to enable first right you go to the database documentation right and just for the time being just select cassandra right or maybe mysql you just take right vault secret enable database so you have to enable it any secret then after that once you enable you can move the secrets between a uh, various paths also you can fine tune of the its configuration of secrets and you can disable it if you don't want to use this is the typical life cycle which can be available in the official documentation as well now what secret point of view how you implement first you will be enabling second is you will be writing 
third is you can read yes of course without writing you can't read then you can delete and you can disable it and likewise there are many other options like a list get enable disable right put patch roll back and delete so these are the all operations you can do means let's say you have a, a database credentials you can write the database credentials you can modify you can delete you can maintain the versions so this is the beauty so if you right that's what the it mean so let's get into the demo this i will be taking a key value as an example so if you go to the vault documentation under secret engine there are many secret engine but i will be taking a key value which is a simple whereas the other uh, secret engines for that there is a separate dedicated topic in upcoming sessions so where uh, we will discuss all those two things but for now so secret engine so i have a one server which is called uh, vault server which is created using a vagrant and it is a ubuntu server and right so now in my local machine which is vault server is running so vault status if i say which is sealed equal to false which is unsealed which is a very first step and the, and the next step is vault login as we have seen right so and i was able to log in successfully right by using a token methodology now vault status perfect so now go to the slide so secret engine so if you go to the ui and you log in with the root token copy which is the same whatever i did it in the command window which is same as here as well so when i log in here secret engine is a first screen where cubby hole is already created so what exactly that so secret engine point of view the first command is vault secrets list this is the first command where secrets point of view which will tell about in my vault cluster how many secrets are currently available one is a, this is a since a new cluster new server which doesn't have anything so cubby hole got provision and whereas if i go to the command line and list for it cubby hole identity is this cubby hole is basically per token means i logged in a vault with the, this particular token means this particular token specific secret engine is this cubby hole means per token private secret storage means whatever the secrets are related to this particular token will be mapped with the, this cubby hole secret engine as soon as you regenerate a new token or basically this token uh, lapses or token uh, is duration ends then this new cubby hole will be created that's a one second is identity identity is basically we will be able to store the various authentication mechanisms right so those so those authentication mechanisms point of view this identity store basically it will internally uses this particular store and other one is a sys system is basically system specific uh, all the private information which will store in this particular secrets list so these are the various three types and now if i wanted to make use of a key value pair which is a version 1 and version 2 available right so if i wanted to create the, the first command is vault secrets enable key value pair so how it will be it will be like this vault secrets right and enable and key value pair so i have enabled the key value pair and what the message enable the key value secret engine at kv forward slash so what exactly this kv kv is the path so if you go to the ui and access and go back to secret so you will see kv forward slash which is a when i click here and go to the configuration and what it showing a path is kv means whatever the secret engine is enabled and now how to verify that vault secrets list right now i can see type is key value pair and path is kv forward slash 
so this is the one accessor identity information is created accessing so now so as we see world secrets list is basically this is the word the one secret just now i enabled but whereas the path it has taken as a forward slash kv i can create a my own secret with the my own path as well so vault secrets right enable hyphen path equal to gvr i wanted to just make use of the path as a gvr right like this and then i what is the secret type i want to use a kv so when i enter here all my secrets are stored under the gvr path so how do i verify vault secrets list key value pairs are two different key value pairs i am storing in my vault cluster one is under kv and other one is under the gvr right now go to the ui and see gvr is here right so that's how the and if i wanted to write secrets into the my gvr uh, basically so vault kv put operation we have to use so how i'll tell you so command is vault kv put where you wanted to store the secret under the gvr so this path is a mandatory under the gvr i wanted to store the passwords of users okay right this is a path any path you can give slash users say web ui right web ui is a my web ui passwords i am st storing so whereas username equal to say username equal to gvr and password equal to 123 in this way you can store the multiple secrets as a key value because here you are using the key value right how to read that vault kv get and web ui then you will be able to read that so the command is vault key value put get that's how you can read and how to delete that and if if you say if you override say for example vault kv put gvr and password equal to say 1 to 4 what happens username i kept as it is password so it will override say if i get then see username equal to gvr password equal to 1 to 4 and you go to the ui and go inside the gvr there will be a web ui so means under the gvr is a root path under web ui i am storing uh, my secrets these are the secrets and i can delete as well i can delete the secrets as well right so how to delete that vault kv delete right where the passwords are stored and web ui right then data is deleted now go to the vault no value found why because we have already deleted and how can you disable vault kv vault secrets disable what i wanted to disable kv right so my secret got disabled so how to verify that if you search for a vault secrets list then automatically the kv got disabled but whereas the gvr is there already right if i wanted to disable the gvr disable gvr now automatically gvr also disabled so when i vault secrets list then my this gvr got deleted and as well as the kv also got deleted so this is how you can make use of the basic secret storing and all and also you can list as well yeah and whereas a get put list etc now you can store the, and the second example this is you can store basically secrets in the form of a versions means if you wanted to use the versions you have to make use of the version 2 api so how to version 2 api so let's say let's repeat the same step again say vault secrets enable path equal to gvr i wanted to enable and if i wanted to i can't use the versions in this particular secret say vault kv put i put this and vault kv put one two three so every time what happening is one double two 
and volt kv get when i say volt kv get right uh, volt kv get so i got a latest value but it's every time it's overriding right so i, I wanted to make use of a versions so versions point of view the first thing while enabling volt enable sorry volt secrets enable now hyphen version equal to 2 what is the version equal to 2 this is the api so this here is the command is already given version equal to 2 and path what path i wanted to use path equal to i wanted to use gvr2 right gvr2 uh, and what is the type of secret kv now vault secrets list now kv kv so if you go to the ui right and go here you see gvr is a just a kv but whereas gvr2 is using a version 2 api uh, if you go to the configuration right what is the version here version 2 means this is the version 2 which is a vault specific version if you go to the gvr and go to the configuration its version by default taken as a 1 that's why it's not showing here v2 underscore v2 space kv something here there is no v2 so but if you wanted to use the versions you have to store it under the version api now i wanted to insert so vault kv put right and where i wanted to put under gvr2 right gvr2 under where i wanted to put web ui say let's say web ui and username equal to gvr password equal to 111 i'll put now it's created as a version 1 of metadata so in the discussion now i wanted to use a version 2 222 yes 222 also created and what is the version here number 3 and say i wanted to write another password called 333 yes it's also created 333 and version 444 yes also it's created a version 444 so and if now it's all good right so how to read vault kv right get gvr2 right sorry gvr2 slash what is the path we have used here web ui so we need to provide a web ui right so if i specify web ui there are a total four versions and it's showing me the latest version only how do i check for a specific version vault kv get hyphen version equal to one and what is the path so path is the most important okay gvr slash web ui oops version kv get oops sorry my bad it's a typo right so if i specify vault kv get version 1 so it it show me the version 1 value say if i wanted to know let's see here clearly now this is a version 1 value say if i wanted to know what is the version 2 value right version 1 value 111 version 2 is a 222 and version 3 value will be 333 right and then clear and version 4 value which will be oops sorry version 4 value it's an integer value now version 4 value in this way you can see and if you wanted to get the metadata right so we have seen metadata vault kv vault kv and meta data get of gvr2 slash web ui when i type vault kv metadata get right it show me cas required and all the metadata information it show me version one when it's created when it is so if you are working on a some production environment or uat this kind of a uh, using of a 
multiple versions is which will be really helpful so that you can retrieve whatever uh, you want it and you can modify this metadata as well and you can delete a specific word say if i wanted to delete a fourth version so yes i can delete that how to delete that vault vault kv delete hyphen versions equal to fourth first version i wanted to remove and gvr to slash web ui now data is deleted how to verify that vault kv metadata if you go to here not this deletion time see here the deletion time is created but not destroyed what is destroy completely removing right how to destroy the uh, specific version right now vault kv and destroy vault kv put get same wise right hyphen versions equal to 1 gvr2 slash web ui so you have to give a path so now it's deleted so how to verify that vault kv metadata version 1 is destroyed means somebody created but it's destroyed now currently available versions are only three only right say if i specify say vault kv get version 1 what it will show it's a destroyed it will say it won't show any value that's as simple as that and how can you disable vault kv secrets disable right and gvr2 it's deleted vault secrets list and there is a last command which is you can check verify the secrets list in the detailed fashion as well how to verify that hyphen detailed you need to pass so, so here vault secrets list if you specify hyphen detailed it will show you the a very very detailed fashion like a, what is a path what is a uid author and default ttl maximum ttl force cache right and seal wrap and etc so there are other parameters and if you add a description all will be shown here if you specify the vault secrets list in the form of a detail right so and if you look at the commands here these are the commands just now we have put and undelete you can use undelete as well that undelete will work before the destroy okay that and you can modify the metadata as well so whatever the metadata so here my metadata point of view say vault metadata see if i specify so it's already disabled right so that's why i am i am unable to get it but if you wanted to add a metadata something like a delete after certain number of time right and you can limit the maximum number of versions so that's how you can leverage the and store the secrets and in the similar way go to the documentation and a database say for example if you wanted to create a database secrets of my sequel so first vault secrets enable database you have to enable say something like a copy right and go here clear vault secrets enable database now vault secrets list right now my database secret is got created type is database forward slash database and if you wanted to create a database uh, passwords so you can use in this fashion like like this and you can use it and maintain it and you can write and where as users and if you wanted to read in this way you can read it right so it's as simple as that so whatever the the documentation has a very detailed example so something like that you can write so yeah basically here you need to supply the various passwords so that it will uh, work but main idea is you can you have to enable the secret then write it then after that read it right so so for every example it is there yeah that's it for this particular session point of view and uh, let me know what you guys think about it thank you bye bye